ובני ישראל פורו וישרצו וירבו ויעצמו במאוד מאוד ותמו להוארץ אוי סום. ואב רש"י דה רשבון דה בן עזרא דה כלי יוקר פונים יופויס רש"י אקספליינס פורו שלא הפילו נשויסיהם ולא המיסו כשהם קטנים. They were fruitful, there were no abortions and no infancy death. וישרצו, רש"י says, that they gave birth to six tuplets, שישו בקרס אחות. The Ponim Yophos says, it's מרומוס on the six words, פורו, וישרצו, וירבו, that's three, ויעצמו, במאוד מאוד, that's six, שישו בקרס אחות. ותימו להוראות את אויסום, they populate the entire land. One of the questions is why Moshe did not have five more brothers, and Aharon and Miriam, they should have been 18 in the family. Maybe Shevet Levi was different. The Ebenezer learns, Poru, they were fruitful like a tree that gives a lot of pages. Yishretzu, that they were twins. Teoimim. Vayirbu, no infancy death. They were Nizra, but they grew. Yirbu. Vayatzmu, is Milosh and Etzem. They had strong bones. Were Takifim. They were Giboyrim. Bimoid meoid, that was impossible to have more children. Shlohoi yuchorim liyos yoiser. That's the Ebenezer's pshat. The Rashbam learns, Poru, Hiroyon. Vayishretzu, Leido, which means every... Pregnancy gave birth to a normal child. By Yirbu, they did not die young, like the Ebenezer says. By Yatsmu, they lived long, but they populated the whole area because there was no deaths. Fatimor lehoretz oisum. Fatimor lehoretz oisum, the Ponim Yothpos learns, like the Gemore and Soite brings down, the Mitzrim wanted to kill all the babies, and they hide under the ground. Fatimor lehoretz oisum, the ground was full of the babies. The Zippona learns, Vayishretzu, they became like Shrotzim. Since they lost the previous generation, they became influenced by the Mitzrayim, and they were found all over Mitzrayim. Timole Horetz Oisom. In the theaters, in the circuses, Karkisos, Vayishretzu, like Shrotzim, Shkutzim Irmosim. The Kleokros is also, Vayatzmu, Emeoid Meoid, that they became very rich. Big Ashirim, could be Mirumus also in the Posuk, Bimeoid Meoid, like the Gemore Dashans, Bechol Meoidecho, Bechol Memoincho. Meoid means a lot of money. There were a lot of rich people who didn't have the kesher with the previous generation, so they used the money for pleasure. Somebody came to the region and he got a brocho. You should have a lot of money. You should have too much money. He explained to him. You should know that the money that you have is too much. Die a Give it away for good causes. That's what Bechol Meoidecho. Meoid means very much. If a person knows that he has too much, very much, and the rest he has to give away, that's the brocho. According to this, Bayatzbum Bemoid Meoid means they got very, very rich. But in Molehoretz Oisom, they were found all over the land. And they were like Shrotzim, a generation without a guidance. That was one group. The other group was now. They had a more de kebrocho, and they were giboyrim, eze hu gibura koepeshes yitzroi. But the mole horets oisom, they had a nace, that they were able to escape from the goyim under the ground. They had a shmiro. Or we can say like the Orachaim HaKodesh says, by Yomos Yosef, first Yosef died. Bechol Echov, afterwards his brothers. Bechol Hador Hahu, and the rest of the entire generation, the Ein Nefesh. Uvene Yisrael Poru Bariyishritzu Bariyirbu Bariyatzmu Bimoit Meoit. Those men, Yosef and the brothers were around. The Mitzrim had big derecheret for Klal Yisrael. Once Yosef was Nifter, they lost a great power in the eyes of Mitzrayim. As each one of the Shvotim was Nifter, they lost the grip and the cover that the Mitzrim had to the Bnei Yisrael. Yankov Abinu was not Nifter until he saw 600,000 Miyoitzei Halotov, which means in the times of Yankov Abinu was already the broch of Uvene Yisrael Poru Bariyishritzu Bariyirbu Bariyatzmu Bimoit but then they had a different touch. They were strong. They filled up the Eretz Goishen. They did not go out of Eretz Goishen. Once Yosef and his brothers and the entire generation passed away, then Ubn Israel Poru, they had a different touch. They became very rich, very wealthy. They went around Eretz Mitzrayim, like Shrotzim. And then those people was the Gezeira Kolaben Hayiloit Ayoret Ashlichu. But those who were the Kusher to the Shvotim, to the Darke Aboisom, they had the Neis, Patimole Ho'oretz Oisom, that the earth, the ground, protected them.